When you write HTML, you will get a page that is the result of the code that you have written. There is a way to write less HTML and get the same result. I absolutely think that it's time to level up your HTML. I'm talking about a template engine. Its name is Pug. It is uh, well known, but a lot of people doesn't know it till today. You will have three main benefits. Cleaner code, faster development time, and more powerful features. For example, you will have iterations, includes, mixins, if statements, and much, much more. But before going ahead, you have to know at least the basics of HTML. I mean, at the end, with this method, your output will be HTML. And uh, so you have to know how HTML works to go ahead. So if you want to jump right into it without waiting even one second, you can jump into codepen.io and then press the button Start Coding, top left corner. Under the first option, choose Pug as your preprocessor and close. And I will use SAS as a preprocessor of CSS, but you can go with CSS. Now it's time to write a little bit of bug. With the combination of pug and sas, you can do something like this. When you combine pug and sas, you can copy up your pug and put it directly into sas. If you compare it with HTML, now the code is a lot cleaner and more readable, as you can see. And it took me a lot less to write it. With Pug, you just have to type the class and it will create a div with this class. If you want to create a more specific tag, for example, a header or footer, you just have to type header or footer. Now it's time to see how to install Pug locally. I will install it with Node and I will use npm as a package manager. So let's see how you can do it. I will start from scratch by creating a new folder where I will put all these files. Inside this new folder that you have created, you have to type npm ini to start a new project. After that, we have to fill all these informations. Now it's time to look for some instructions. Let's open up the browser and look for Pug on Google. You can go inside npmjs.com and look for Pug and click into the first result, copy and paste the instruction on how to install it. For example, we have to use npm install Pug to install it. And here inside the documentation you will have all other stuff on how Pug works and uh, many other information. Or if you prefer, you can go into pugjs.org, the official website, and then here follow up the instructions. For example, as before, you have npm install Pug to install. And here you will have all the information that you need to know more about Pug. For example, inside code, you will have all the things that you need for using Pug code create variables for example or new tags and how it works or for example you have conditionals uh, that show you how you can use if to make your conditions or for example iterations to make some iterations before showing up your content and other other stuff for example mixins it is a really powerful feature that you could not get with only html now let's paste our instruction to install pug npm i stands for install and pug it's our package so after installing it we need another important package called express so we can run our local server so let's search for expressjs or go inside expressjs.com under getting started click installing and here you can find the instruction to install express let's copy up how to install it and paste it inside our terminal. So after installing Express, we can get started. 
So to don't waste a lot of time, let's jump back into the Express website and go into Hello World. Since this video is not about how to use Express, let's copy up this code. I will use Visual Studio Code, so I will type code that to open this folder inside Visual Studio Code. Now let's go inside the package, and as you can see, we have our index.js as the main. That means only one thing, that we have to create an index.js file and inside it paste our copied code from the Express website. Let's change the port to 5000, since I have another application in port 3000. And let's jump into the bug in the left tab, press the run and debug or F5. So as you can see into the bug console, we have our server, local server up and running at this port. So let's copy up this link and pass it into our browser. And as you can see, now we have printed hello world. Let's jump back into the express website under guide, tap using template engines. Now let's go down and uh, we have to copy this line here, upset view engine type. We have to pass it inside our code before registering any route. Now in the left tab, let's click back into the code to see our files and let's create a new file called home.bug. This is the time that everyone was looking for and it's time to write some bug code. Now let's create a new folder called views because here is where the view engine looks for bug files. If you want to change this, you can look up into the documentation. And let's put our home bug file inside this new folder. Now it's time to change a little bit our index.js. Instead of typing res.send, this time we have to render our bug file. So let's change send into render and let's change the string instead into the name of our file. Since right now we don't want uh, to return back an, a string, but we want to return back a new file that will be rendered by the view engine. So now let's jump back into the browser and see if everything works fine. Let's refresh and as you can see, everything works fine. So now it's time to see the last thing to show you some useful features about Pug. Before ending, I want to give you a glimpse about how Pug is powerful and uh, some things that with HTML you absolutely cannot do. So at the renderer, if you pass to it an object, you can pass things to this Pug file. So you can pass some arguments. For example, here, if, you type, if I type some stuff, and they pass with the string and they go back inside my home.pug file, I can call this variable with this information. Now let's see the result. And as you can see, the string has passed from the server to the pug file. Now let's see the last example. As you can see here, I made an example of iteration and I have defined a new variable. So you can write plain JavaScript without any problem, a thing that with HTML absolutely you cannot do. So this is the power of Pug and uh, it will help you so much. This is the trick to level up your HTML. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Ah, uh, wait a minute, I, I, I forgot to say, don't forget to subscribe.